watching Power App Solutions in Minutes. In our last video uh, on Azure, we created an app registration for Dynamics 365 slash uh, CDS or Dataverse. And uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, this is our first lesson on setting up a connection manager in a SQL Server integration services project. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And the one we want to pick is going to be, eh, I think we want, want to do SSIS. Here we go. So what we want here is integration services project. Go ahead and select that. Let's give it a name, sample integration services project. And then I'm going to store this in a different drive. <clears throat> and then I'll go ahead and create. All right. So I've installed a variety of different tools that are going to give us a lot of flexibility in future videos to um, perform data migrations as well as ongoing integrations as needed. Uh, you can see we have some really cool tools here that are already integrated like Azure Functions Task, um, HTTP Request Task. I mean, there's a variety of really, really phenomenal tools that we can leverage here. Um, for now, for the purpose of this video, it's just establishing that Connection Manager um, uh, authentication, which is a big struggle for a lot of developers because you have to set up um, the app registration in Azure and then frequently when you come here to the connection manager that's where people get stuck so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click here in the connection manager section and click new connection and because we have Kingsway soft installed we have a variety of different connections we can leverage in this case we're gonna use dynamic CRM and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit add and this is gonna open up this window here and uh, the service endpoint of SOAP 2011 is deprecated for at least a few years now. So uh, I don't want to use that. I want to use the web API. And the other thing I want to do is I'm going to start passing in parameters here based on that Azure registration that we did, right? So I'm going to go ahead and um, pop some values in here. So this is our username for our user and then we want to pop in our password and then our client app ID that we looked at in the previous video is coming from Azure for that app registration so we'll pop that in here and then our client secret remember that you only are able to copy it that one time once you navigate from that page you'd have to create a brand new one if you forgot it so always store those in secure locations and then um, we are going to need our redirect URI. So I'll copy that. And so um, the other thing we need is to pop in our CDS CRM server URL. In this case, it's um, here it is. So it's dynamictuber alex.crm.dynamics.com. What we'll do here is we'll go ahead and click on authorize and it's going to ask for a redirect URL. We'll pop that in here. We'll authorize in app. And then we'll go ahead and select our account, pop in our password. <clears throat> Skip that. Now it's asking us for permissions to the common data service. That's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and accept that. So Azure is going to let us do what we want to do. And then let's go ahead and test the connection. And boom, we have a connection now. So we now have access to this environment to be able to create um, control flows and data flows and execute those um, in our local environment against uh, different databases. So in a, a later video, We'll talk about how we can start setting up some uh, data flow tasks and um, manipulating information uh, to be able to 
perform data migrations and, and potentially at some point um, ongoing integrations when you have a full license of Kingsway Soft. Thank you so much for watching.